time. But thirdly and finally, the church, just like this well, ought to be able to point you in the right direction. Now, I wish I had time to, to really deal with this because there are a lot of misdirected folk. Y'all looking at me strange. But not all churches are pointing people to Jesus. It's all about us. And not enough of him. Mm -hmm. and, and you can do your own inventory. If, if you get angry because you ain't on program, I'm talking about you. If, 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 if you walk around with your feelings on your sleeve because ain't nobody recognizing you and ain't nobody calling you in and caressing you, I'm sorry, but God bless you today. But it ain't about you. The church ought to be about Jesus Christ. I, I remember, I remember, I remember a time when, when we used to come to church it was a different atmosphere. You know, we, we all pretty now. We got we don't wear poly and ester no more. Some of us got cashmere and wool, and some of us wear them dead dogs and dead bears and stuff. But I remember time, um, Brother Dean, when we came to church, we kneeled at the altar. I, I remember sometimes when, when pastor would get through praying and, and folk would be moving back to their seats. Some folks stayed there. And I heard the preacher ask a question. You can get up now. And I heard the person, not till I get some assurance. You need insurance, but we, the church needs some assurance. And, and sometimes, we, I remember the church when, when folk used to bring sick people to church. Y'all remember that? I, I remember very vividly. Amen. The, 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 um, I, I won't call them old because I'm getting old, but I remember uh, the elders of the church. And there was always one you didn't walk by. But so she'd look at you. Come here, boy. And, and, and you put your hand in your pocket. And you go there. And like, Why you put your hand in your pocket? Because you didn't want that club strap on your hand. You're trying to hide. What's going on with you, boy? Nothing. She said, Don't lie to me. The old folk, you can read between the lines. In other words, they say it's written all over your face. And we used to come to church. We clean up before we got here. That's what the songwriter said. I got to clean up what I messed up. And every now and then, that's what church ought to be. Church ought to point you in the right direction. We ought to point young men in the right direction. We ought to help young girls in the right direction. You ought not have to call some professional counselor. The counselors are right here in the church. and psychology, but we got some men in here that know from life experiences what it's like. And I want you to know that the church is so powerful that there's no other institution like it. No other institution that has inspired the hopeless to have hope. No other institution has encouraged the weak to become strong. No other institution have cared for the poor and the needy. And although the church has been threatened, she dare not stop her ministry. Although she has been assaulted, she dare not fail her master. Although she has been attacked, she dare not quit her mission. Although the church has been abused, um, she dare not compromise her morality. And Jonah makes a conscious decision to take life in a different manner. He chooses, or he chooses to do it God's way. And my brothers and my sisters, there are two ways about it. There is your way. But then there is Yahweh. Jonah, yeah, finally gets it right. But just like Jonah was heading in the wrong direction, I too was like Jonah. I was heading in a wrong direction. Yes, I remember a time when I came in with a little black book. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, I left with a hymn book. Mm -hmm. I remember a time when, when I came in here looking for skirts. Mm -hmm. But I found a 
an old a scarlet robe. Mm -hmm. I came in here looking to die. Mm -hmm. But I found, I found out living through Jesus. Mm -hmm. I remember a time when I came in here all thirsty. Mm -hmm. But I found the living water. I came, I came, I came, I came in here, yeah, looking for one way, but I found another way. I heard, I heard, I heard, I heard the voice of Jesus saying, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden, and I found in him a I found out that Jesus, he died between two male factors, one on the left and one on the right. I found out that he was buried in another man's tomb, but I found out that not only was he buried, but I found out that three days later, he got up with all power, and is there anybody in here that came? But you left here another way If you ain't too mean And if you ain't too ashamed If you know that God Has done something for you You ought to tell God thank you If you know You came in sick But the Lord healed your body You ought to tell God thank you You ought to know If God has done anything for you I told you I'm on the winning side My God is bigger than that God Super Bowl Sunday, and I thank God that we are undefeated. I thank God that we are more than conquerors, and so I'm glad about it. I said I'm glad about it that I'm on the winning team. Is it anybody in here? Are you on God's team? If you're on God's team, you know when they score a touchdown, they stand up and say yeah. When they score a great defensive, they stand up and say, defense, defensive. But I don't know, but when Christians know that you've been saved, you say, thank you. Is there anybody in here? Can you tell them thank you for where he brought you from? Can you tell them thank you how he humbled and died? But he got you up and I'm all right. I said, I'm thankful that I serve a risen God. And I got a question. Is there anybody in here? Are you glad that you serve Jesus? You ought to be on your feet today. It's the first Sunday of February. He didn't have to let you live. But I'm so glad. I'm so glad that he did. When you went down last night, you didn't have to rise this morning. You went down and it was dark. But this morning the sun is shining. Is there anybody in here? Shouting because Jesus is a way maker. I said, Jesus is a way maker, and He will make a way for you. And if you don't mind, I remember how He brought me seven days ago. They took my gallbladder, they said, You weren't gonna be able to do it, but here I